Hello, I'm Chad Marin, your instructor. Have you ever wondered what's inside a computer case? Or have you actually opened one to see the dust, the power supply, all the cables and circuits and all that in there? This video I want to discuss the different components all combined together to make up a computer. One thing we want to keep in mind is a computer is a machine. It will do nothing until we tell it what to do, either with the mouse or with the keyboard or other input devices. So to start, the motherboard. This is the most important component in a computer. This is the main circuit board. All of these components connect to this in some way. The CPU, the central processing unit. This is the brain of the computer. You've heard of 3 gigahertz? Well, that's 3 billion cycles a second. That's how fast this machine is thinking. The CPU connects right there in the motherboard. Then we have a heat sink. Remember, 3 billion cycles a second. That's a lot of thinking. That's fast, and it gets hot. This dissipates the heat in some way, and then it also has a fan that keeps this CPU cooler. And then this fits right on top of the CPU like that. Then we have memory. It's also called random access memory. This is short-term memory. Basically, it's if you're working on a computer program and you're, you're working on some stuff and then you turn the computer off, guess what? It's gone. If you don't save it somewhere else, and I'll talk about that in a minute. The memory and the CPU communicate together and the memory goes right there in that slot. Hard disk drive. This is permanent storage. This also connects to the motherboard. So remember, if you're working on a program, to save your work to the hard drive before turning off your computer. Also, we have a video card. They connect on this slot on the motherboard. This is how the motherboard and the monitor, your eyes, you know, your window to what you're actually doing is how you actually see. Also, older components like a modem, which is how you connect to the internet, that also connects in one of these slots. The newer motherboards, like this one in my hand, has got components like this that are actually stuck on or embedded on the motherboard. You can see we have the um, speaker outputs. We also have connections for the keyboard and the mouse, um, printer connections, external devices, even something like a USB thumb drive can plug into the USB ports, or a camera, sometimes a video camera. Remember, this machine here does nothing until we tell it to do something. Well, I hope this video has been helpful and maybe satisfied some curiosity about what is inside this machine. If you have any questions, please do not hesitate to contact me.